Today, we're going to talk about hybrid marketing. No, that's not the marketing of a semi-electric car. Stay tuned to find out more. Hi, my name is JC Sum. I'm a hybrid marketer, author, and content creator. Hybrid marketing is a combination of traditional marketing and digital marketing. The world we live in now is completely different than it was 15, 20 years ago. Everyone today has some kind of a mobile device, even though a lot of us still work on desktop or laptop. But if you're on the go, you will be holding your smartphone or your iPad. You'll be doing research, communicating with friends, and even buying things. So mobile is the future, smartphones, smart devices are the future, and this is a digitally evolving world. Currently, the world is divided into two halves, digital natives and digital immigrants. Digital natives are those that grew up with technology. They're so used to phones, devices, being on the computer, just doing stuff online that is just natural to them. And that's why they're a digital native. A digital immigrant is someone who learned technology and how to use these devices as an adult. A lot of people, these people, are very happy when they successfully create a Facebook account. Others might be completely lost when it comes to trying to tap the screen of a device or just trying to open an app. You know who I'm talking about. But this is the world today. You've got these two extremes. And of course, you've got people who aren't even uh, digitally savvy at all. But generally, in the developing cities and countries, we do have these two groups. And it's about 50-50 now, but this will change in a few short years because more and more people will be digitally assimilated. So even digital immigrants, people who did not grow up with technology and tech devices, a lot of them would be very used to it because they're assimilated, they use it for work, they use it in their life. So they're almost as good as a digital native. This is where things change because with this digital assimilation and the digitally evolving world, customer behaviors change. And there are several ways they change. For example, the way customers research is completely different. When you used to buy something from the store, you go to the store, you look at what's on the shelf, you compare the labels, the packaging, and you kind of decide what you might want to buy. Maybe you talk to a salesperson who would give you their thoughts on it, and you'd make your purchase. That's not the case anymore. Now, before you even go to the store, you probably do your research online. You check out reviews, you watch videos, you check out posts. You want to know everything about this particular product or the types of products in this range before you even decide to buy it. Often, you may not even go to a physical store, and if you do go to a physical store, you're there to actually just see the product or to test it out. And you aren't even going to buy it because you're going to buy it online. That is what's happening today. And that is the reality. So customer research has changed. Due to the internet, customer expectation has also changed. There's an abundance of choice. There's convenience. There's speed. All this changes the customer's expectations. And that's what they expect online and offline. So now, if people who are very used to shopping online and they go offline, they may be turned out, turned off by the big crowds or the long queues or slow service because they're just so used to getting something done immediately. And they're used to things being delivered all the way to the doorstep. So all this has changed the customer behavior and that means businesses must change as well. Because if your customer has changed the way he or she buys, you have to change the way you sell and you market. Hybrid marketing is the solution to today's digital economy or what I call the hybrid economy because many businesses are still offline ones. To understand hybrid marketing, you have to understand both traditional and digital marketing and how they work as part of the marketing mix. But first, let's have a look at the traditional customer journey or what is also known as a sales funnel. In the traditional customer journey, there are four parts. It starts off with awareness, where a customer becomes aware of your brand. The next step of the funnel is consideration, where customers think about buying your particular product or service. And they might do some research and consider whether they want to buy your product or service or not. Then they move to the purchase stage, where they actually pull the trigger and buy your product. And hopefully, if all goes well and they like your product and service, they become loyal customers and advocates of your brand. 
Over the years, there have been many modifications and variations of the sales funnel, but this is the basic traditional customer journey and we can use it for purposes of this discussion. Traditional marketing is also known as offline marketing, and this includes printed flyers and brochures which you might be given at a store or at a roadshow. There's also traditional broadcast media such as magazines or newspaper ads. There's radio ads as well as television ads. All these form traditional marketing. The giant billboards or posters that you see considered outdoor media, that's traditional and your snail mail or direct mailing. That's another example of traditional marketing. Back when I was a student and running my first business, I would make and duplicate VHS tapes. That's right, I would have two recorders. Well, actually, I had one player and one recorder, and I would duplicate my own VHS tapes, put them into envelopes with a cover letter, and I would send them to prospects and I'll send them by snail mail. So I'll bring a whole bunch of, you know, 50 packages to the post office and I'll buy stamps and mail them out. As you can imagine, that was tremendously time consuming and also very expensive. Now, if you wanted to share a video, what would you do? You'd just send someone a link. Uh, you don't even have to use email anymore. You could use a, a, an app to message them, uh, to PM them, or you could just send them a WhatsApp. And the latter is an example of digital marketing or online marketing, which I'm sure you're just so familiar with if you're watching this video. Now, th there are many different forms of digital marketing. There's email marketing, which has basically replaced uh, direct mail, or it's really an improvement or cheaper alternative to direct mail. You have content marketing, which is sharing your content on multiple platforms, and that's often tied to social media marketing, as well as search engine optimization or SEO. That's paid advertising that you might see on different platforms, websites, or even when you do Google searches. And finally, we have influencer marketing. These are just some examples of digital marketing. So where does hybrid marketing comes in? It comes between both online and offline marketing. It is the alignment between these two forms of marketing and it's what I think is necessary for today's hybrid economy. Now your business might be an offline one or you might be a tech company where you do not need any offline marketing, that's possible, but many businesses today are still offline ones. Even if the marketing or the customer communication is online or even the ordering process, a lot of the back-end execution or the implementation of the service or the product itself may be physical and offline and you do need logistics to send it to a customer. So that's why a lot of businesses are still offline ones and you need a hybrid strategy when it comes for running your business today. And hybrid strategy, that's the thinking behind hybrid marketing. It has to be creative, big picture, you need to, of course, be familiar with technology. You must have a business and marketing mindset, and you must know how to connect everything. And you must also be able to look at data, analyze data, and see how you need to optimize your different channels, whether they are online or offline. Hybrid marketing is taking the best of both worlds from traditional and digital marketing to create strategies and tactics for a business. Here's an example of a hybrid strategy. So let's say a business wants to bring their offline customers into the online world. So they might have some way of collecting customer data offline. There may be flyers or posters with a QR code and offline customers or physical customers who visit the store can actually scan the QR code to get to a web page where they can fill in their data. Now the data is part of a marketing automation software where they can, or the business, can actually track the customer data as well as market to these individuals. And hopefully along the way, they also shift the offline customer's preference to shop online. Now with online shopping, they might give discounts, they might give some kind of bonuses to create loyal customers out of them. And maybe their top online customers get to attend an exclusive in-person offline event. See the hybrid strategy, getting them offline, online to offline. And at the event, they can bring a friend who's not a customer and the friend can also go through the same process, scan their details. And you know what's even better? When they scan, uh, they, they scan a QR code that brings them to a web page, 
it automatically asks them to create an account using one of their social media accounts so they don't even have to key in information. This information is captured and the cycle repeats itself. And but what you have done is you have brought people offline to online, offline and then online again, and you can keep doing it. What you want to do is try to create as many touch points or interaction points as possible, both offline and online to engage, connect and communicate to your customer. Ideally, you want to have as many as possible, but research has shown that you need about seven touch points in order to convert a customer and make them become a loyal customer. And that's what you want. When you have a loyal customer, not only are they returning customers, so your cost of acquisition goes down, but they become advocates of your brand. Remember, that's the last phase of the sales funnel, advocacy. I hope you enjoyed this introduction into hybrid marketing, the combination of traditional and digital marketing. Are you doing it for your business? I'm sure you are already doing some form of hybrid marketing because that's what is necessary. But what you need to do is to really think about all your hybrid touch points and how you can connect better with your customers. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Leave a comment as well. In fact, tell me, is there any creative hybrid marketing strategy or tactics that you have practiced or that you've seen before? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.